Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Clay Ramage. This time we're back with another Goodwill Bins haul. Um, I'm filming things in advance in anticipation of some vacation time. So, I'm not exactly sure when you're going to be seeing this. Um, but yeah, we had a great time at the bins today. And um, found some great stuff, some stuff that surprised me. Um when I got home and started looking a little closer at things. <laughs> so, sometimes that happens. I never quite know what we're gonna find and uh, or how much it's worth. So, it's kind of a small haul today. And, uh, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get right into it. The big thing I found was this. It is a Fisher Price Play School, not Play School, Little People's Zoo. I didn't even know they had a zoo. But sure enough, this is the zoo. Now, this is not, it's very clean, but it's broken in that there would have been a lever here to move and a figure up here that moves. That's broken. The hippopotamus still works. Whee! <laughs> so that's fun. Um, there was a sticker on here that said, uh, Fisher Price Zoo, $40. So somebody tried to sell it, they think, at a garage sale for $40, and it didn't sell. Um, so they donated it. I paid a dollar for it at the bins. And um, so I'll put this down at the pink elephant to sell, because it's kind of large, and then I don't have to deal with shipping it. Um, and besides, we sell quite a few of these things down at the pink elephant. They're quite collectible, and we have people coming in specifically to look for the um, Fisher Price Little People's uh, material. So, here we go. All right, I also picked up this one. I thought, oh, a little Cabbage Patch doll, but she's not a Cabbage Patch. She's actually called Playmates in Hong Kong. Um, so I think she's either a Cabbage Patch wannabe or should have been or something. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I picked her up. She didn't weigh very much, so I grabbed her. I'm just looking at all the stuff, trying to think how I want to do this. All right. I picked up this a vintage Rubik's Cube. This one is called Wonderful Puzzler, made in Taiwan. So this is not an official Rubik's Cube. Um, this is a Rubik's Cube wannabe. So... It's just a three-sided one, and there was a piece of paper that fell out. I don't know what it was, and I don't know where it went. Hmm. I have to look for that. It's probably instructions on how to use it, <laughs> which I would need if I tried to do it. Well, I also found some scotch tape, one still new in the roll, and one still new, but loose, or one still in the package, I should say. And I use that all the time, so if I find it in the bins, I pick it up because it's expensive. Shipping supplies are expensive, period. So if I find them in the bins, I grab them because I'm cheap. Um, but no, it's, you know, if I can find them, it just makes sense because that saves me money, which means I can offer things at a lower price as opposed to having to add $5 for shipping supplies. I can add 50 cents. You know, it depends upon what model you have. I'm not going to push the button. I've done that twice, and this there's no way to shut it off. This is a musical pub. This is an Irish, it says Jameson Irish Whiskey. So they put out these little houses. Guinness is good for you. And it's dated 1996. McBrennan. I'll have to look that up. I don't know. There is a label on the bottom, but it's half gone. I can't really read it, but it was plays Irish Eyes Are Smiling, I believe is the name of the tune. But I'm not going to play it because you can't shut it off. And then, um, oh, I don't know, it was like a week ago from me filming this video, I was watching Julian from the Bearded Thrift uh, program and he picked up a Emil Henry uh, casserole dish and uh, it was worth quite a bit of money. I found two of these smaller ones at the bins. Uh, these are made in France. So they're kind of like the Le Crusette, like La Crusade. 
I um, paid 49 cents each for these. And these are smaller ones, not worth that much, but you know, 15 to $20 each. So that was a good find. Um, and then I'm gonna show you this one because this was surprised me. This was sitting in the one of the bins and I was late getting to the bin. A lot of other people had already been there. And uh, I saw it, and I picked it up, and I thought, oh, it's going to be empty. I opened it up, and I had this in there. I thought, oh, okay, just an inexpensive little necklace. I'll get to that in a minute. Then I saw, oh, two little pearl earrings. I figured they were fake. Well, then I got home, and I don't know why, but I grabbed it like this, and it came out. There's all this writing on the back. And it says 14 karat. Yell, yellow gold. I was like, well, that's interesting. 14 karat gold earrings. Sure enough, they're marked 14 karat gold on the back. And these are real pearls. I do not know how to tell you if they're freshwater, salt water, cultured, or any of those kind of things. But I found two real pearl. Um, what do you call them? Earrings. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a text come across my phone, which I film with my phone, and I saw the text and I got distracted. Um, it was actually my mom. Hi, mom. Texting. So, anyway, that was a surprising thing to me, finding that in the bins. I was excited. Found gold at the bins. Yes. You can find gold and silver at the bins. I do it regularly, as my longtime viewers know. We found some incredible things. All right. So I'm going to go on a trip. We're going to go to Italy on this wonderful vintage handkerchief, souvenir handkerchief with Rome, Roman Colosseum stamped on there. Which was fun. Found that. That's a nice little hanky. You guys know I like selling hankies. I do well with them. This necklace is made by the RR Roman Company. Now, this particular one says made in the USA. Um, it's called Heaven's Pearls. Uh, this is the month of June, which is actually my birth month. Isn't that fun? So, that was has the Roman name associated with it. Now, speaking of R.R. Roman, the R.R. Roman Company, I also found this picture, which is, um, there was a series of these and they're angels overseeing, overlooking, watching over a child. And this was made by the R.R. Roman Company, but this was made in Italy. I found that one, which is beautiful. Isn't that just awesome scene on there? And these are in excellent, excellent condition. But I didn't just find one, I found two. Same, same frame, same convex glass, same company, same labels, but the other, this one has a different back. But beautiful, beautiful prints. Love those. Oh, here's the instructions that fell out of the Rubik's Cube. Just found them. Yay! Um, but that's not all. Remember, we're still in Italy. How about a hat? Found this hat. Nice wool felt hat. It still has the original tags. The Hats Company by Filippo Catarzi made in Italy. 100% wool. How's that? Beautiful brown felt hat. In the bins, brand new with the tags. Nice vintage hat with a velvet ribbon around the top. Nice brown. That was our trip to Italy. Fun little trip. But speaking of trips, oh, this goes with the uh, Fisher-Price Zoo. It's one of the little cars. 
Hey, that was at the bin too. Different bin than the playhouse, but I'll pull these out for you. There is this baggie of Disney collector pins. This is the collector pin series, which they have a lot of these and you can collect them from all over the world. Different topic subjects. I love the fact that the clasp on the back is the Mickey ears. Those are fun. These are all like late 2000s, early teens um, from different parks around the world. I didn't even count how many there are. I think there's like 15 of them. These are quite collectible. Um, probably $5 each. So that's a pretty expensive little bag there. Exciting. I did look, there's none, no super rare or collectible ones, but still, even at $5 a pop, that's a good deal. And as we continue our way around the world, gone to Italy, gone to some Disney's. Now we're gonna go to Japan. Saw this case, this was also in a little baggie. Um, and I pulled it out. Mitutoyo. This is a cal uh, caliper for measuring thickness of whatever. Works wonderfully. Made in Japan. Um, now, it's interesting. This company, a lot of their, um, these items go for a lot of money. But I can't find this particular one. This is the pocket version. The case itself... Mm, a little split um but the larger ones go for you know 50 to 100 dollars so i'm not sure what this pocket one would go for but there we go um yeah i don't know so the, i was excited about it it's a nice little find all right Oh, you cat lovers, gonna love this little guy. Uh, obviously, 1980s kind of design. This is a, I would call this a petty point because it's very small, as opposed to a needle point. Um, but it also has some cruel like work to it. So, um, oh, look, <laughs> that might be valuable too. Somebody, Cabbage Patch doll. Ava Freeman. Oh, isn't that fun? Anyway, uh, you never know what people use to frame stuff with. So, yeah, I do well with these types of items. And obviously with the, being a cat, the subject matter is great. Somebody will love that. Found this wonderful little desk lamp in a nice burnt orange kind of color. Um, nice vintage find, probably 70s, just based on it. But these metal shade lamps, I've sold a number of them in the past. People seem to like the metal shades, you know, with that. It's a French word. I can't exactly tell you exactly how to pronounce the French word. Boule or something like that. I know, Mom. Don't be disappointed in me, but you didn't teach me French when I was a kid. <gasps> Bailey's and cream cups. Um, those will go down to the pink elephant. Some of you have commented I need to try to give more pricing. These things I'll sell for like $6 each down at the pink elephant. The lamp will probably be $34.99. Kitty cat, that'll probably be uh, $29.99. $25 to $30. Same with these guys. I'll sell these as a probably as a pair on eBay. I'm going to list these on eBay so you can check my store. Um, I'll probably list these for like $30 for the pair of them. The prints themselves are not, those. that series is not very expensive for some reason, which surprises me. This hat is probably going to be a $25 to $30 hat. I have no idea what to price the earrings at. So I think that kind of catches me up with most. Uh, and I don't know what to price this guy at either. I'm assuming $25. And 
and I only spent seventeen dollars today. So even just one item, Fisher Price School probably twenty five just because of the condition. Just one item, and I've already in the profit. But then I picked up. I kept finding these in one bin, and so I kept grabbing them. These are metals in metal stencils they're called brass stencils and they're for embossing or you know painting whatever you want to use them for and there's actually some of these there's multiples in each package not that there were originally but they just kept adding you know they had one most of these are from around you know late 90s early 2000s uh, here's the embossing technique. It talks about how to do it on the back of that one. Embossing and stenciling. So there's three of them in this one. Even though the package is originally only would have come with one. There's a good number of them in this package. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. There's quite a few. I'm like, sweet. There's another one. And there's another one. I don't even. What does that one even say? It's backwards. I can't read it. But anyway, these. Oh, thanks. Um, price wise, these are all over the place. Originally, that one was seven seventy five. One of these was fifteen dollars. This one was eight ninety nine. That one was thirteen ninety nine. Look at the detail on that one's got a lot of great detail. Um, this one has three different ones in it again. So these are expensive when new, but they don't have a lot of necessarily great resale value. But I could probably sell them for. There's not that many listed. This one sold for seven dollars. Just this one by itself. It was originally seven seventy five. It looks like so. Here's another one. But there's just some great designs. This one was the one that was fifteen dollars. It's a different brand. But yeah, so that was a fun find. Like I say, I probably list them at like five dollars each. Thought about doing a whole lot of them because that seems to be how some people have sold them as big lots. So I'm not sure. Anyway, the last things we found were two books. The Cokesbury Stunt Book. This is a, you know, $10 to $12 book. Not a, not a big um, dollar amount. But a nice book. I enjoyed it. And then I found this Bible. Oops. And this is a leather-covered, hardcover, not just the kind of hardcover, but a hardcover. This is the Catholic edition, the new revised standard Catholic edition. And it's the single column, which I like the single columns myself. Angleized text, Harper Collins. I was trying to see what the date on this one is. 1991. So again, it's in great shape with the exception of this one page that got wrinkled. But that's just the um, committee, their comments. The rest of it's in good condition again. Just a little bit of wrinkly on the page there. And Candace suggested, thank you, Candace, for the suggestion, is to actually iron the pages. And I've done that. I did that on the other one that I had a couple weeks ago that had some dented pages, if you will. And it works really well. It doesn't completely remove them, but it uh, definitely relaxes them so that they, when you close it, you don't see it. Which this one, kind of, you don't see very much anyway. So I don't, I don't know if I'll do anything with this or not. But, but yeah, this is a great little big Bible. Feels like it's leather covered on the outside. Anyway, that's what we have today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you next time.